Good afternoon. It's the Friday edition right here on Sports Patas and it's on Super Screen Television. It's quite an interesting weekend we've had and um, a lot of sporting events will be coming up this weekend, especially when it concerns the African continent where Eyimba will be going to River State to meet Rivers United to find out who among the two teams who represent us at the group stage. And the Super Eagles have dropped one step from the FIFA World Ranking. Well, I tell most people, I don't really take uh, the ranking very serious, but to some people, it is a significant indicator to uh, mark out the performance of the Eagles over a period of time. Also right there in the Atelia Cup, the Super Falcons have to edge SKO Moscow, um, and it's quite uh, interesting to note that the girls are willing to go in their next game, even having made comments that they are not there to win the trophy, but to prepare the Super Falcons, having stayed off um, grade A games for two years. So it's quite interesting to know. This afternoon, we'll also look at players' report card. Um, Ogi Onazi is moving. Um, Tomori is talking. Uh, a lot of them, we'll take a look at them, and uh, since they're Nigerians, they're quite peculiar to our own sports development. We'll also take you back to the MPFL League. There are quite interesting games coming up. The big one is between Rangers and Quara United. With Quara United be disunited right there in uh, Enugu, where time will tell. We'll also bring to you for basketball. And quite interesting to know that the EPL, the La Liga, is the exemption. And some other tidbits within the sporting uh, world will bring to your four this afternoon in the different segment. My name is Steven Prince of Yusa, and they call me the Duke. And I'm not alone this afternoon. Uh, before we came on air, Joel and Tyra have been having some tours and some banters. This weekend is going to be Arsenal hosting Man City. And um, Tyra believes <laughs> Man City will have to have it very hot. I'm supporting Tyra. I want Joel to know that, yes, I'm with Tyra this afternoon. Uh, let me welcome both of them onto the show this afternoon. Tyra, how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. It's, uh, it's a very cold afternoon yeah. today in Lagos. And like I've said earlier, I'm going to beat Man City. Although last week I predicted uh, Tottenham uh, winning. But one could see that last week their defense line was very porous. Mm. But this weekend, I'm giving it to Joel. Uh, Joel. I'm going to stop Man City. All right, Joel Walker is also right here in the studio. Joel, good afternoon. Good afternoon, the Duke. Uh, good afternoon, Tyler. You know, talk is cheap. Uh, I, I believe in 90 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk too much. Uh, let's see what happens. I hope Mark Anthony is hearing this because that's my, that's my brother. In, I mean, we are citizens. The same way Mark Anthony has been <laughs> we are the talking and talking that is cheap in all the platforms. Uh, the same way you've carried it over to the studio. We are, we are the citizens. Okay, you're the citizens. We, we, all right. The citizens are talking. The Gunners are also talking. Like rightly said, 90 minutes is the judgmental period. We will know how that crucial three point. If Man, uh, if Man City wins, they go up 13 points. If, if Arsenal pick up the three point, they move to the sixth position. So we'll see how it goes. Let's start from the home front. Well, to me, it's not um, a categorical thing, but a lot of people will say uh, ranking usually tell the world or tell your fans how well you're doing. Gentlemen, um, FIFA ranking, Super Eagles slip again. Uh, let me start with you, Tayo. The ranking, we've not had very sustainable games. You want to call grade A games. So sleeping again, I don't know where. Uh, I know we have a specialist on this particular category. Dr. Agubi Adi knows how to calculate it. But for me, I don't think this is significant. Well, um, it's of great significance because um, just like you said earlier, it's, um, it's an avenue. It's a measure to check how fair a team is, uh, is a national team is actually doing. But if you look at COVID, discover that a lot of games have not been played this year, uh, from last year to this year. But with the little we've played, like our performance during the um, AFCON qualifier was shambolic, more especially the game we played against Syria alone. And um, it, was, um, it was an ISO. So I believe, judging from this and a whole lot of, a whole, uh, of other games, uh, that is what has actually affected um, the, the Super League. Then, probably they look at our league as well. Because if you look at England, when it comes to FIFA ranking, I don't see what England's are playing, the English national side. Sometimes you see them fifth. Probably they are looking at the Premiership. So I feel our, the MPFL is also 
part of the parameters mm -hmm. they use mm -hmm. in measuring how fair but, but, the but, but, but Tari, before I come to Joel, uh, the MPFL, we've seen some games on the MPFL uh, TV app that are fantastic. I, I, is it the rating for last year or for this year? Well, this season, I must confess that um, there are improvements because before teams don't go away to win. Exactly. Even to pick a draw. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of that. Team goes away, they get a draw, they pick a win, and that's a good one for us. So you don't. Yeah, I disagree with the man that said, "Man, I can't do anything to take the game." We stop the Asian have that they are going to win Man City. I told you for them, they don't have defense. The attack is is now become rubber, and the Man City that is on the fire now. I just I'm for them. I'm I'm sorry. Maybe they they have something like a three one. I can't manage and don't want it. Okay. So they do not think anything about the game. It's nice to keep carrying the game. All right. Adewale, since okay. you've uh, opened what up... I won in your studio last time. I didn't have time to come because of lockdown. Yes. If you I want to come know. around us, let us know. Done. If you want to come around us, let us know. Definitely uh, you'll be admitted into the show. Okay. All right. Um, Adewale has just broken the lock. I didn't want to open the phone lines because... Um, it's, it's a very important game. I would expect you people to talk about Enugu Rangers and Quarra United instead of Arsenal and Manchester City. It's a charity begins at home. But since the lines are open, you can call in and um, give us your own prediction. You might get something. Who knows? But please, at the same time, talk about our own league. Rangers is playing Quarra United. Aqua United is also on the bill. So look at whatever you have as a piece of information and let's talk about them parapetue. So back to you, Tyler. So um, I feel the uh, currently the league this season uh, with the performance of our players in the in the local league, I can say yes, we are going somewhere. And if uh, the MPFL, if it's one of the parameters used in measuring how good our national team is, I feel um, probably what we have now the MPFL must have contributed to it. Mm. Because for me, Eagles have not been doing so well. All right. Um, <coughs> Joel, we know grade day games are very important. And NFF is doing all they can to give the Super Eagles grade day games. But don't you think we should begin to play African teams more instead of going out of the uh, continent? Well, well uh, um, judging by the last uh, AFCON, you know, we, we, we came uh, third. And um, I mean, I wonder who else want to play around Africa. We, 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 what else we want to prove to these countries? I mean, they, they, they know the caliber of our players abroad and they know what we have when it comes to the ranking. Even in Africa, the African ranking, I think we are top. So I don't see any reason why we're playing teams in Africa. Go out, go out there, play teams in Europe, I mean, probably um, Asia, and top. I mean, yeah, you can play club side, top clubs. That for, really, I mean, for you to really know the level your team is when it comes to cohesion, you know, team play, formation and tactics and all that, you know. So, but it's okay. Um, on, in terms of the ranking, uh, like you said, the ranking doesn't, you, you don't like the ranking. I don't like You don't ranking. like the ranking, but to me, I think the ranking is also good for us to really check me and say, look, this is where we are, this is what we have to do. It tells us. Because let, 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 let me be honest with you why I don't buy this FIFA ranking, especially as it concerns the Super Eagles mm -hmm. that represents Nigeria. Um, you're ranking a team that 98% of the players are foreigners to me, yeah. even if they carry Nigerian passport. Mm -hmm. There was a debate on one of the platforms uh, talking about the 1994 Eagle squad yes. and the 1998 Eagle squad. Mm -hmm. There were players from the domestic league who were in that particular squad and they were solid. Right now, you can't mention one player from one team from the domestic uh, league in that squad and you have players from what value are they bringing to bear? It makes me sick. That's the simple truth. No, but we, I mean, truth be told, you're, you're talking about 94 to now. Now, you have, you have to look at something. Who are, I mean, the administrators then in 94? No, what value are these players brought to the national? You're talking about the foreign players? Yes. What, what value, value are they brought to the country? Yes. Oh, well, I, I think you're only, they're only letting the domestic players, look, you have to work hard and come and join us in Europe. That's the only thing. That what value, Joel and Tayo? <laughs> you see, I'm going to pick up this particular topic It should be a Monday. good talking point. No, it, 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 it is. It's very appalling because mm -hmm. you say somebody's playing in one league, in Division Two, is in the national team, mm -hmm. and there are players, talented players in the domestic league that can match that person one for one. Well, I don't want to be biased. Let's go on. <laughs> Let's talk about the Super Falcons. They they started um, 
participation in the Italia Cup right there in Turkey, and they did it very well, even if the goal uh, came in late, quite a scrappy one, but it's good for the psyche of the team. Tayo, uh, I think the Sport Falcons are excited. You need to see the videos on the net, the um, pictures on the net. It simply shows that these ladies are raring to go. Uh, the truth is, any day, any time, even if they lose, Super Falcons is, um, they are the side that, for me, they are the pride of Nigeria mm. because these are the ladies that have gone to the continent. They've conquered Africa. Mm. The only thing left for them is to go to the world stage and to do the same thing, they rep to replicate the same uh, feat they've been doing because in Africa, they've won it nine times. And uh, many of these ladies, they are unsung heroes because they are not treated well. You know, when the kind of packages they gave to Super Eagles, mm. they don't get yes. it. And still, they go all out to give their best. Like the last um, uh, Nations Cup they won, it was clear that South Africa was better. But they gave everything uh, to bring back the trophy. So for me, it's a fantastic one. And they, just, uh, they should just keep up the good work. Joel, as is that Oshiola, the captain of the team, says, it's not compulsory they win the trophy but it is good for the team having stayed off competitive games for two years. Yeah, definitely. Not, 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 not bad. Uh, she, she, just, she, just said, she just said it all because a lot of them, I mean, are about 70% of the players, they are still playing active in the clubs in Europe. It's just for you to really keep them in shape. You know, and at the same time, not if we didn't qualify for the Olympics. This is just um, a tournament to really tell you, look, you guys can still do it to I mean, as, as a team. Yeah. You know, at the same time, um, we believe, um, you know, come to qualifiers too. Like you said, we've, we've conquered Africa. We don't have anything to show to anybody. So we we're the best in Africa. And these ladies also, they, they've really done us proud. But that doesn't mean that the pride of Nigeria, but I mean, we have the super heroes there and all that. So, but I give it to the ladies for now. Thank you so very much. We're really wishing them the very best. Uh, it's not compulsory or mandatory they win the trophy. If they do, it's a plus. But the team should be in shape. And the coach has been speaking um, quite excitingly that what he has seen on ground, uh, it's commendable, the qualities are there, and he really wished to take the Super Falcons to the next level. Talking about the next level, it's going to be war. I mean, football war right there in Port Harcourt, where Rivers United will be hosting a Yimba of our bar. It's a sole ticket who represent Nigeria at the Confederation Cup group stage. The first leg ended 1-0, courtesy favor to uh, Eyimba, and uh, a bigger money um, prize money was promised to Rivers United. We don't know if the governor is still going to keep that same promise, but come on Sunday, it's going to be all focus to Nigerian football right here in Potako. Well, um, to me, this is the game you should be talking about, not Man City Arsenal. Yes, that's the truth. Yeah. Because you are an integral part of the football system. Mm -hmm. um, you're a developer. You, you're, you're just into it. Mm -hmm. Rivers United, Eimba, to me, it's a replica of what our football should look like. Yeah, um, the, the two, two people powerhouse, you know, coming together, coming, the conferred. Um, Rivers United from our Sean boys, uh, doing us proud. No, but um, when it comes to experience, right, they, have, they have the best, the, the, I mean, the highest speed player in Africa right now, a fellow guy in, in Nigeria, so to speak, in the league, he earns about a million plus. But Aimba, without the experience, they yes. won the first leg. Hold on. Yeah. People keep talking about this experience. Um, there was a contention this morning that um, if I, Daisy, and some few um, analysts had, and the contention was, who do you think had a better footing when it comes to this particular game? If I, Daisy, says experience. And somebody said, as at the time, Aimba won this game. I mean, won the um, CAF yeah. Champions League. Yeah. How much experience had they? They went there, they conquered. So don't write off Rivers they, United. They were, that, is, they, that is the general view. They were the best in the country. That was why they won it, for God's sake. They were the best in Nigeria. And they, they, they've, won, they've won the, I mean, the, 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 the CAF Championship back to back twice. They've even won the conference. From your own point of view, the Sunday game, yes. you're giving it to Eyimba, right? I'm giving it to Eyimba. They, you, 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 you see why I had a, to come in. Eyimba yeah. has this. A, see, Eyimba, when it comes to this particular stage of the game, I mean, they, they, they know the opponent. They know the in and out of Obviously, opponent. advantage Eimba, one year, right? Yeah. Time. For me, I think both teams are charged up. Both teams are motivated. <clears throat> but we've seen the situation whereby a team scores three goals, go away, they spank four nil. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it. And with the current trend of um, events in Nigerian football, teams goes away to pick up points, team goes away to win uh, away games. I am seeing... A spectacle come Sunday. 
Well, for, for me, um, like Joel said, Eimba has, they have everything going for them. They have experience. But the truth is, Eimba won at home, won zero. So there is nothing taking anything from Rivers, not winning at home, because they will be playing in front of their fans. Yeah. And the pay package mm, is still I think, there. I think fans will be allowed into the stadium, no. except for a few officials. So they will be playing at home. And um, with the promise the governor have given them, uh, have made for them, uh, Governor Wiki, that is going to give them 20 million era, or is it 10 million era? Now? 20 million. So if they win. So but playing at home alone is a moral booster for them. So yeah. I see them, it might end up with the Inver winning, mm. but I still feel uh, Rivers uh, United have a chance in this. All right. The game is coming up on Sunday, 24th um, of February, and it's going to be at um, the Omokutanship Stadium. NTA Sports 24 will be showing it at sister station. So for those of you who wants to see this game live, which I'm going to also uh, be ready. Okay, sorry, is the Adokia Mesemaka Stadium, um, Port Harcourt. Those of you who want to see this game live, it's going to be a talking point for Nigerian football. So we're wishing both teams the very best as they go into this particular encounter. Still within the domestic scene, let's talk about our league. Yes. Joel, this weekend is war. Mm. And um, either you like it or not, that is where my interest is. My team, Enugu Rangers, will be taking on Kwara United. But Tayo, you, you mentioned something earlier on that um, it's quite interesting to know that teams can go away, pick away points, and also go away, uh, pick away. Uh, what do you think has helped to metamorphose this sudden turnaround in our football? Well, I think um, the effort of the LMC and um, the new sports minister, because before the league started, there were meetings upon meetings, yeah. how the league can be structured. So I, I feel some of these things uh, played a part mm. that brought about this improvement. Mm. Because he does not, um, he doesn't speak well when you have to win every time because you are at home. Or uh, there must be violence because we've had very little record of violence. Yes. Although at the beginning of the season, there was a time there was fight. There were skirmishes here and there. But no the improvement. And we can we can get better in a day. So I just feel with this season, if we can manage this. It's a stage then, by stage. You know. So we can get to the level of premiership, La Liga in one day. But it takes a process. Mm. So and with what you are doing now. It's a fantastic one. Okay, uh, Joel, let me first of all reel out the games that will be coming up this weekend before we go into setting key players that is making the league very, very thick. Uh, we have Aqua Starless taking on Wiki Torres. It's 2 p.m. Aqua United will be playing Plenty United. It's 4 p.m. And we have Ifan Yuba uh, taking on Kasina United. It's also 4 p.m. Jigawa Golden Stars will be playing National United. That's on Sunday. Both games are on Sunday, 4 p.m. And Sunshine Stars will be playing Heartland. MFM will play uh, Adama United. Um, and... Um, Quara United will play in Liberal Rangers. Tyre smiling. Now, um, Joel, let me ask you this. Um, the goalkeeper for Rivers United is somebody who had a vast international experience. Same with the goalkeeper for Quara United. Um, aside these two players, we have some foreigners also in the league. But what would you really want to tell somebody out there that is exciting you right now in the league, considering the fact that the game between Quara uh, United and Enugu Rangers will also be a pictorial view of what our football is that same Sunday as Ayimba is playing Rivers United. Yeah, we, we, we know Quara against Southern is not the last one. And uh, Enugu Rangers, 17 points. Yeah. Uh, but notwithstanding, Enugu Rangers, they, they, they always start, they, they always have the slow start on the league. You know, but, but because it's not, it's, not, it's not in the middle of the league yet. It's not the second round. That is when they really pick up. And you still have time to buy more players and beef up your squad, you know. And, uh, but now you asked a very good question. Uh, now we're talking about a lot of things happening in the LMC. They have sponsors, you know, players that have been paid, palettes have been shared. The players are happy. They're giving out, I mean, they're giving out their best. But when there's a shortfall on those demands, I mean, and, and all that, players are rioting. And all. So what do you expect? It's going to be a beautiful league. I see that coming towards the end of the league. But the LMC should be careful. 
Look at what happened in the I mean, uh, Kogi State and all yeah, we'll the come back to that. talk about it. I hope such thing was not going to come up. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a cracker, both times, yeah. All right, it's going to be a cracker. So this weekend is fire, like we rightly say, and there'll be exciting football uh, all over the country. We're going on this break. We'll come back. We'll be looking at what the play.